Okay, there's this fray made out of metal, five pieces of metal, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's meant to be straight, I didn't draw it brilliantly. Anyway, we're told that the metal frame weighs 1.5 kilograms per meter. We have to work out the total weight, okay? They drew in these right angles in the question page. It did look a bit like they were part of the frame, okay? That wasn't a brilliant performance by the examiners, I must say. The right angle symbols are not part of the frame, okay? Okay, so we have to work out the total length of these five pieces of metal and then we can work out the weight from that. So how do we get the total length? Well, we have a right angle triangle there, okay? So we can work out the length of this one, the hypotenuse, using Pythagoras. So we know these four, we just need to work out length of this one. So Pythagoras, here's our triangle. It looks like this, that's 12, that's five. And we know in Pythag that the hypotenuse, this side, x squared is that squared plus that squared, 12 squared plus five squared, okay? Now, I could work this out. I could work out what 12 squared is and five squared, add them together and take the square root to get x. But I don't need to because I've done my homework and so should you. You should recognize these numbers, 12 and five, when you're doing Pythag, okay? It saves you a lot of work because there are such things as so-called uh, 13, 12, 5 triangles or 5, 12, 13, whatever you want to call them. If the two smaller sides in a right angle triangle are 5 and 12, then the hypotenuse is 13, okay? So remember that, it's a special case of a Pythagorean triangle. A case where it works out nicely with no decimals or three whole numbers. The other one, the much more well-known one that maybe you know already, is the three, four, five. If that side is three and that's four, then the hypotenuse is five, okay? So you may know about three, four, five triangles. If you don't, remember that as well, okay? But also learn five, 12, 13 triangles, okay? And I'll prove it to you. Well, let's do three, four, five. So five squared is four squared plus three squared. Okay, that's 25 is four squared is 16 plus three squared is nine. Yes, it's correct. That's why it's a three, four, five triangle. So with this one, 12 squared is 144. Five squared is 25. So that's X squared. 144 plus 25 is 169 which is 13 squared, so it's correct. Okay, so that is 13 meters. So total length of all five pieces of metal is 12 plus 12 plus five plus five plus 13, which is um, 24 plus 10 plus 13, which is 34, 47 meters, okay? So we've got 47 meters at 1.5 kilograms per meter. So do we multiply or divide? Just look at the units, okay? We've got 1.5 kilograms per meter. Okay, and something in terms of meters. So if we multiply by the thing in terms of meters, okay, look at this. We've got meters on the top, meters on the bottom, so they cancel and we're just left with kilograms and that's what we want. We want the weight of this thing. So that's how I know that we have to multiply 1.5 by 47. Just look at the units. And that is, 
Uh, what's half of 47? So it's, it's one lot of 47 plus a half of 47. So that's going to be 23.5, which is 70.5 kilograms. There we go. So learn your three, four, five Pythagorean triangles and your five, twelve, thirteens. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.